Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hey, it's a beautiful day. What's going on? On all you amazing, beautiful, inspirational people out there. My name is CJ, and today we're gonna talk about how life isn't happening to you, it's responding to you. So my hope is that this video will help you see how the way you move through life, the way you react toward life, will create certain situations and happenings in your life. So you'll have more clarity on the way your future will unfold. So you'll have more peace, okay? So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So, my friend, my God, my goddess, life is not happening to you. Life is responding to you. So how are you responding to life? Whenever things go wrong, whenever things don't go the way you want them to, are you upset the rest of your day? Are you cursing people out in your head? Are you, woe is me, I'm the victim, they're in the wrong? Are you happy? Are you standing strong in your peace in the midst of chaos all around you? Are you not allowing certain people's words and perceptions to make you feel certain low vibrations? How are you responding to life? Because that is what you're going to get back. Life is mirroring back to you who you are, how you think, how you speak about others and how you speak about yourself. Okay, the beliefs you hold in your mind, oh, the world's just getting worse and worse. People are up to no good. I'll never find somebody that truly gets me and loves me for who I genuinely am. You're gonna get that same type of energy back if that's what you're putting out, okay? So if you're thinking that life is happening to you, oh, these people are doing these things to me. The bank is doing this to me. The government is doing this to me and you're the victim in all your situations, you're going to continue to be a victim. So stop looking at yourself as the victim, even if it makes you feel better about yourself in some way. You are on top of the world, even if it feels like you're standing in the bottom of a canyon, even if it feels like you have the world on your shoulders and you're just the weight is just so much you have this going on you have this going on even if you're feeling at your lowest low you are still a god a goddess capable of anything you set your mind to but because your mind is set in a low vibrational way that's what you're getting back so here's some questions i want you to ask yourself how do I think about myself? How do I talk to others? How do I think about others? How do I react during tough situations? How do I act when I don't get what I want? How do I feel life is going for me? Am I happy with who I am? Where do I see myself in the next year, in the next two years? Am I excited about my future? Do I feel like I'm successful right now? Do I feel like I'm valuable for others? Am I taking care of myself? Ask yourself these questions, my friend, and really meditate on it and reflect on how you are presenting yourself in the world. Not necessarily presenting yourself to other people. How are you showing up in your life? When you go outside, are you breathing in that good prana? <laughs> are you seeing the world as a beautiful place? Are you caring for the world you're in? 
are you littering not really giving up about you making your world you live in dirty do you care about the animals and the creatures that live here that coexist with us and without many of them we wouldn't be here how are you showing up in this world on mother earth's plane are you a benefit in your own life? Or are you just in your head benefiting others because maybe that fuels your ego, but yet you are running yourself thin because all the things you're doing for others, but not yourself. How are you showing up? And when you really meditate on this, you may come to certain realizations of, wow, I could be doing this this or this differently, which would help me see my life in a more positive way, which would then help me live a more positive life. Because the way we see things, our perception is what we get, is what we manifest. Because you are the creator of your own reality. So really reflect on the creator, you. How is the creator thinking? How is the creator acting? How does the creator view others? This is something you really want to put attention toward. I know you may be like, I don't got time. I gotta go to work. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta go buy this. And that's cool. But a lot of those things are just temporary. Meditating and self-reflecting on who you are and how you can be a better version of yourself isn't temporary. It is something that with some effort and not even all the effort you put into your jobs and other people and relationships, effort you're putting into yourself doesn't even have to be as much as you feel like you have to do for others. But you give yourself that attention and you reprogram your mind, you reprogram your thought, your thought process you will be benefiting yourself long term because you as the creator will have elevated, will have upgraded itself. You're ready, okay? You've been ready, but you may have just been stuck in certain programs because of a comfort or because you wanna fit in or because you may have a fear of stepping out of your comfort zone but you are ready to elevate to new levels and start making the money you deserve. Start building the relationships that you deserve. Start feeling the positive emotions that you deserve to feel. Because my friend, life isn't happening to you, it's responding to you. And if you are not reevaluating who you are, self-reflecting, looking in the mirror and seeing how you react toward things, seeing how you feel about certain things. What are your triggers? If you aren't doing that, you aren't necessarily leveling up in the most beneficial direction. You aren't necessarily uncovering your truth and living a genuine, pure life. And that's okay if you don't want to do this type of work. But I tell you, you may start accomplishing certain goals, building certain relationships and connections, doing certain things and getting tied and bonded in certain projects or whatever. But at the end of all of those projects and relationships and things, you may not feel fulfilled because you weren't operating at your truest, genuine self, okay? So please, my friend, take the time to get to know who you are, to get to know how you react. Because with that type of work, you become a deliberate creator of your reality. No longer confused as to why certain things are popping up in your life. Having clarity on the way your life is going Having more peace of mind, despite all the distractions that may be around you. 
you deserve to have this type of mentality, not only for yourself, but for the people around you, because it will start to rub off. Okay. You are so strong. You're courageous. You have the ability to tap into your genuine self. Find out who you deeply are and start living a life of pure fulfillment. Start living a life where you wake up excited about the new things. Probably can't even sleep that well because you're so excited about what you're doing, where you're going, the new ideas that keep coming into your mind. We're here on this earth and this earth is supposed to be fun. A place where we create. We are magical, electric beings. But we have put ourselves in a place where we are upset with ourselves, upset with others. We are so judgmental toward ourselves. We beat ourselves up because we don't look like this, or we haven't made it this far, or we whatever. But all of that that you feel that you think about yourself, feel and think about others, all of it is coming right back at you. And if it is not uplifting, if it is not something that is desirable, you're going to live an undesirable life. You're going to be living in a world that is not very pleasurable. And you came here to find pleasure, to be curious and learn and have fun along the journey. Okay. Do not sell yourself short. It is time for you to live the life that you've always dreamt of living. It is time for you to love yourself so deeply that no outside person, source, entity, energy can affect you, okay? You are God. You are the creator of your reality, okay? And if you think you're anything less, you may be selling yourself short. Much love, my friend, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>